Welcome to our lecture online. Now let's talk about Newton's law of cooling. And in order to do so, let's show you an example. So what we did here is we take a room that's kept at a temperature of 20 degrees Celsius and we place inside of it a sphere at a higher temperature and we watch the sphere cool down. So let's say the sphere cools down from 95 down to 8 degrees Celsius in 30 seconds. Then how long will it take for the sphere to cool down from 80 down to 65? And the equation representing Newton's law of cooling is that the temperature as a function of T is equal to the difference between the initial temperature and the room temperature times e to the minus kT plus the temperature of the room. K, of course, being the cool down constant. And first, what we need to do is figure out what that K is in order to answer the question. So what we're going to do here is rewrite the equation a little bit. We'll bring the T sub r over. So we have T minus T sub r. And then we divide both sides by t initial minus tr. So t initial minus tr is equal to e to the minus k times t. So after 30 seconds, it went from 95 down to 80. So when we plug in 30 seconds here, t becomes 80. So 80 minus, and let me write down the number. So 80 minus the room temperature, which is 20, divided by 95 minus 20 equals e to the minus k. And that's a terrible looking K. Let's try this again. All right, K times 30 seconds. And from that, we should be able to figure out the cool down constant. So here we get uh, 60 over 75 is equal to E to the minus 30 K. Now we're going to take the natural log of both sides. So the natural log of the left side, which is 60 divided by 75, which is, gives us a negative number, is equal to the natural log of this, which gives us minus 30k. So k is going to be equal to the natural log of 60 over 75 divided by a minus 30. All right, let's see what that's equal to. So we have 60 divided by 75, take the natural log of that, and divide by, well, let me try that again, 60 divided by 75, take the natural log, there we go, divide by negative 30 equals, all right, so I have k is equal to 0 0.00, 0 0.00, 7438, 7438, and that's probably good enough. So now they have a value for k, now we can use it to find the time for the next part of the problem. So again, using the same equation, we can say that t minus t of the room divided by t sub naught minus t sub r is equal to e to the minus k, there's k, times t. And now we want to find out what t is based upon the next set of numbers. So now we go from 80 to 65, so we have 65 minus the room temperature, which is 20, divided by the initial temperature, which is now 80 minus 20, is equal to e to the minus k, which is 0 0.00738t. So that means that this becomes 45 divided by 60 equals e to the minus 0.007438t. We're now going to take the natural log of both sides. So we have the natural log of 45 over 60 is equal to the natural log of this, which is minus 0.007438t. So t becomes equal to the natural log of 45 over 60 divided by a negative 0 0.007438. All right, 0.75, take the natural log. Divide that by 0 0.007438, negative equals, there we go. So the time is 38.7 seconds. So that's a little surprising. If it took 30 seconds to go from 95 to 80, you would think that it would slow down more than that, but that's what Newton's law of cooling tells us. That for the next 15 degree drop from 80 down to 65, the time now is 38.7 seconds. And so that's based simply on the law of cooling, Newton's law of cooling, and that is how that's calculated.